Last week in Orchard Park, New York, the winds blew, at times gusting to 45 miles per hour, and then the rains came. But football is an outdoor game, so the show must go on regardless of the conditions. The elements affected everyone's performance, but one man suffered more than the rest. Joe Namath is one of the purest passers the game has ever known, but this day was not fit to prove it. At times, the swirling winds blew his passes away from wide open receivers. Other times, the saturated plastic turf made maneuvering impossible. From every angle, the storm negated Namath's greatness, turning tight spirals into fluttering frares. The climatic conditions relegated Namath to handoffs as the Jets had to improvise for every yard. However, New York did muster enough of a ground game to set up two Bobby Howfield field goals and a 13-yard John Riggins TD slosh. The Buffalo Bills did not even pretend they could beat the elements. Number 12, Joe Ferguson, threw only two passes, both incomplete, then handed off to the Juice 31 times for 117 water-soaked yards. O.J. Simpson brought the ball close, and Ferguson went the last yard on a broken play that fooled the Jets more than the Bills. But the real hero of this damp day was O.J.'s blocking back, number 34, Jim Braxton. Braxton compliments Simpson perfectly, hammering away at the defensive midsection while setting up Simpson's slants and jabs. Braxton turned in the day's biggest play as he thundered 21 yards over the synthetic sponge to give Buffalo a 16-12 fourth quarter lead. The rest would be left to Joe Namath. With two minutes left in the game, Namath had failed on 15 straight passes. For the first time in his life, he faced a game without a completion. So with 94 yards in front of him, he went back to the air. Namath's pass to David Knight was the first completion for either team. But two plays later, the wins once again took the snap from number 12's aerial and number 20, Robert James, accepted the gift. The Elements and the Bills had brought Joe Namath to earth as Buffalo persevered in the wind and rain for a 16-12 victory over the Jets and a 2-1 record in the suddenly wide-open AFC East.